Good day, my friends. May God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. You who believe, obviously. Because those who do not believe cannot be blessed. Because they don't believe. Imagine, you go to the doctor, the doctor makes all the examinations, he examines your entire body, then he says to you, you're going to take this and that medicine, and then you go home, and you say, no, I'm not going to take any of these medicines, any of these medications, I won't do such, which means... You did not believe in your doctor, so how could he help you? How could a doctor do anything for you? Nothing. And so is the word of God. Those who believe in the word of God are blessed, but those who do not believe cannot be blessed. So this is what I would like to speak to you. Look. 14 times, 14 times, the Lord Jesus said, He who has an ear, let him hear. Seven times he spoke in the Gospels, and seven times he said it in the book of Revelation, addressing the churches. So he strengthens the idea that those who have ears to hear, may they hear. Those who do not have ears to hear, cannot hear, obviously. And the question is, who has ears to hear and who does not have ears to hear? This is what we would like to speak. Look at the Holy Scriptures we shall read and meditate. Look, Jesus said, He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, says to the churches. Which means, the Holy Spirit speaks to those who have ears to hear. The Holy Spirit speaks to those who have ears to hear. But who does not have ears? One might ask. All of us have ears. That's true. Everyone has physical ears, but not everyone has spiritual ears. Because those who have ears to hear what the Holy Spirit says is he who is a servant. A servant has ears to hear the voice of his master. He who is not a servant has no ears to hear the voice of the Lord, the only Lord. So, friends, now you find out a great reality. You believe in Jesus. You believe in the Bible. But you do not obey, you do not practice, you have no attention to your word, or rather to his words, then this belief is worthless, it does not work. It's of no use for you to know the Bible if you do not practice it. It's best you know 1% of what's written in the Bible and obey than for you to know 100% of it and you do not obey. So he who has ears, he is a servant. These are those who serve, our servants who serve the Lord because the Lord of this world is only Lord of those who have ears to hear his voice. The Lord is only Lord of those who are servants who hear his voice. Those who do not serve him, so then the servant has no ears to hear the voice of the Lord. So here Jesus is speaking, he is addressing his word, he is bringing his message to those who say they believe, because amongst those who say they believe, as well as those who do believe, there are many, 
It's a very great, a large universe. I know that in the entire world, there are over a billion people who believe in Jesus. Who believe in Jesus. But amongst this billion who believe in Jesus, only those who have ears are servants. Those who do not have ears are not servants of God. You hear the word of God, but you do not obey, then you're not a servant. Oh, but I live by the grace. What grace is this, my friend? There is no grace without obedience. God, through His mercy, His infinite mercy, He gives us His word. But only those who have ears, which means those who have a sound mind, obey. And those who obey are servants. They are the servants. Therefore, a servant is he who has ears and hears the word of God. He obeys the word of God. This is called intelligent faith, a balanced faith, a conscious faith, a supernatural faith, a faith which has nothing to do with religion. Religion is one thing. Faith is something else. So the intelligent faith makes a person to obey the voice of the Holy Spirit, leads us to obey the voice of God, which is His Word. Therefore, to have ears or rather those who are servants have ears, which means those who obey the word of God. Those who do not have ears are those who do not obey. These are those who despise or do not even bother with the word of God. So Jesus is saying here, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes, he who overcomes, shall not be hurt by the second death. So then you might ask, Bishop, does the second death still exist? This is the second death. This is the most painful. We'll speak about the second death on another occasion. But now I would like to let you know that he who hears is a servant. He who does not hear is not a servant. And he who has ears is a servant. Who does not have it does not have ears, he's not a servant. Here is the message for you today. So now evaluate yourself. Weigh your life. If your life is bitter, if your life is sad, if your life is depressed, if your life has absolutely no value because you even would like to kill yourself or die, if you have lived a life below the limits of misery, of disgrace, of sadness and pain. Oh, my friend, my dear friend. This is because you have not had ears to hear what the Holy Spirit says. You have no ears. And if you say you have ears, then it is even worse because you have ears, you hear the voice of God, but you do not obey. So it's as if you do not have ears to hear. So do you want to change your life? Listen to the word of the Holy Spirit. Hear the word of God. Because think with me just a little bit. Pay attention. Think. Reason. 
meditate now upon what we shall speak. Pay attention. If you are a servant of God, which means you have ears and you have heard the voice of God and obeyed, so then your Lord by obligation has to grant you the physical conditions and spiritual conditions and emotional conditions in order for you to serve him. How can a person serve the Lord Jesus being sick, oppressed, going down to the grave? This does not make sense. It doesn't make sense because is the Lord unjust to have a person who serves him and he does not even bother the slightest of attention? No. God is just. He is the just judge. And those who serve him have the right and the obligation to have a dignified life a life according to their Lord. If I serve the Lord Jesus, then I need to have a life according to my Lord who is just. I need to have a just life. Is it not true? If I do not serve Him, then it's obvious that I cannot demand from Him the Lord of heaven and earth, the creator of all things, I cannot demand from him a dignified, a, a just life because I do not serve him. So evaluate your faith, my friends. Weigh your faith. Reason. Put on a scale your ears. Because perhaps you claim to have ears, but you do not have ears to hear the voice of God. And if you have ears to hear the voice of God, but you do not obey what he commands, how can you demand from him a dignified life, an abundant life, a life which gives you conditions to live and serve him above all? This is not fair. If I serve my Lord, the Lord Jesus, if I hear his voice and obey, then at least I have the right, the right to be rewarded with the service, with the rendering of my service, of being a servant, of serving him with dignity, at least. So God is like this. He is just. If I serve him, he has to serve me with his promises, the fulfillment of his promises. But if I do not serve him, so then he can do nothing for me. So then I will stay alone. I will try with my own strength. I will try to serve myself. And it's obvious that I will not live well. So it's a matter of justice to serve God and to have a life of dignity is a matter of justice. But now when a person does not serve God, he does not have the rights to demand from him a dignified life because he does not serve him. So Jesus said, it, it reads, he who has an ear, let him hear, hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes, the overcomer is not the one who makes money, the one who has success. It is not he who is stronger. It is not that athlete who, who climbs the podium and gets a gold medal. No, the overcomer to God is he who overcomes eternally. It's of no use for us to overcome in this world, but in the world, in the, the, the coming world, lose our soul. As the Lord Jesus said, what profit is it to gain the whole world, but lose your soul? It's worthless. But he who hears is a servant. He who hears the voice of the Lord, of the Holy Spirit, is a servant. And he who is a servant, he has the right to 
to a dignified life because he, the Lord, is just. And it's not just for him to contemplate, not to contemplate his servants with a life which makes a difference. Praise be to God. Think about this. Evaluate. 14 times the Lord Jesus spoke. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. He who has an ear, he who has an ear, he who has an ear. If you have an ear, listen. Listen. 